If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to solve the question on your own before listening on. We can begin to solve this question by writing down the equation for the energy of a photon. And that equation shows us that the energy of a photon is equal to Planck's constant times the frequency of the photon. This question is giving us information about the wavelength, and so we want to rewrite the equation in terms of wavelength rather than frequency. And to do that, we can recall that frequency is equivalent to the speed of light divided by the wavelength, so we can make a substitution just like this. Now this would be the equation for the energy of a single photon. What we can do is multiply both sides of the equation by an integer n, and that would give us the energy of n photons. n could be 1, it could be 2, 3, etc. Now in this question, we want the energy of some unknown number of photons to equal the energy of four photons. So we can write e sub n equals e sub 4. We will replace each of these energy terms with the expression that we just developed earlier. Now we'll notice that on both sides of this equation Planck's constant and the speed of light appear so we can algebraically cancel them out. Now for the lambda sub 4 what that represents of course is the wavelength of the four photon scenario and the wavelength of those four photons was 200 nanometers so we're going to be able to substitute in 200 here. The wavelength for the unknown number of photons was 800 so we could substitute in 800 right here. And then at this point we could solve for n which is the unknown number of photons. We can multiply both sides of the equation by 800 so that it cancels out on the left hand side. And when we solve for n, we can see that it equals 16. So the correct answer to this question would be choice E. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please click the thumbs up icon and also subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for additional videos. Remember that you can send in your own question to the email address on the screen and I will do my best to post an answer to it on YouTube.